Hey, I can see you. You keep on hiding, but I can always see you. Because you know what, guys? Just like in math, there are signs, there are symbols, which you might not see, but they actually exist. And I will give you a magic lens to see them. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's start with this. Now, check this out. This is so confusing. You will see this in math. A parenthesis A and a B. There's nothing in between. A and B, just letters together. Don't be scared, guys. If there is no symbol, it means times, right? Because multiplication could look like this. You could have the time symbol. You could have the dot. But they all mean times. Division sign. Yes, this is the most common division sign. You know, that line with two dots, okay? But guess what? It could disguise itself as this one. A fraction bar, yes. Division is actually a fraction bar. It could be a slash, right? It could also look like this, a funny symbol like a division house. But guess what, guys? In division, the order is important. The first letter here should be on top. The first number, or if you use the division house, letter A should be inside, okay? Because in division, the order is very important. Okay, now look at this number four. Okay, a simple looking number four, but guess what? Something is hiding there. Oh, put a bar, and over one. It is now a fraction. Any whole number, just put over one, it becomes a fraction. Okay, 12 is a simple number, but guess what? There are tons of symbols hidden after 12 as a whole number. Check this out. Put a decimal point and add a zero. That's fine. 12.0, it's the same. I can add two zeros, yes. Actually, you can add as much zeros as you can after the decimal point. It doesn't matter because they all mean what? 12. Okay, now 7. If you're 7 years old, all right, or you, you traveled 7 miles, do you need to say positive 7? No. Automatically, if it doesn't have a sign, it is positive. Okay, 3x. What about 3x? Will I add them? Will I subtract them? Will I multiply? There's no symbol in between. Guess what? It is a times, all right? Between a coefficient and a variable, it is always a times. X alone, okay. I know X is there, but do I need to know that it is a what? There's a 1 before that, all right? There's a 1, a coefficient of 1, if, if there's a simple variable X, just like this. Okay, now, that negative uh, symbol would actually mean what? Times a negative 1, right? If you see a negative x, that means a negative 1 times whatever value you have for x. Okay, one more. A hidden exponent. I don't see an exponent here. There's nothing. So maybe it's 0. No, it's not 0. There is always a hidden exponent of 1. Wow, look at this base, a base of 9 to the 0 power. As long as your base is not 0, guys, okay? Any base here to the 0 power actually transforms into 1, okay? So don't forget that. Any non-zero number raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. Next, a negative absolute value. Okay, there's an absolute value, but I know absolute value cannot be negative. Why is there a negative there? What is the meaning of that negative? It actually means what? Times a negative 1. Whatever your absolute value is, multiply it by a negative 1. Okay, a negative of a negative. Whoa, how can it be double negatives? Because that negative outside, again, means what? Times a negative 1. All right. A negative with distributive property. Check this out. This negative sign outside the parenthesis, your teacher always warns you about this. Now, check this out. 
That negative actually means what? There's a hidden negative one outside. And once you got that negative one, you can now use your distributive property, negative one times y, and negative one times negative nine, and your result will be negative y plus nine. In short, because of that negative, the inner terms becomes the opposite because of this hidden negative one. Square root. Okay, we always see that square root sign. But did you know there's a hidden number there? Yes, that is the index of 2. You call it index. Now, 1 over a variable. 1 over any variable, that actually means z will have a special exponent. What would that be? A negative 1. Okay, that 1 numerator is actually an exponent of negative 1.